welcome back to engineering graphics class in this session uh, we will going to discuss how to draw the isometric projections problems using isometric sheets okay let's we discuss the problem number 12 the question is given like this a cone of base diameter 30 mm and height 40 mm rest centrally over a cube of side 50 mm draw the isometric projection of the combination of solids okay so here we have a two object one is a cone and second one is we have a uh, cube the cube uh, dimension they given 50 mm and the cone diameter 30 and height 40 they given the bottom object is cube and the top we need to place the uh, cone first we will construct the bottom object that is a cube they given the dimension 50 so from the bottom page you can give the leave the five or six boxes 1 2 3 4 5 and then you can start it five box 1 2 3 4 and 5 then same 1 2 3 4 and 5 and next again 1 2 3 4 5 then back here so after getting the top face of the cube next we need to give the uh, height height of the cube will also 5 so we have to give 5 box 1 2 3 4 5 same only front front three corners we are going to draw because this one is become hidden so that's why no need to draw that 1 2 3 4 5 then same way 1 2 3 4 5 so after that we need to join all the the bottom A corners with the visible line like this. So this is the cube. Is construction is finished. And next on the top of this, we need to place the a cone. The cone base there they given 30 mm. So first we when they given the cone, we need to construct the circle for bottom. The 30 means from the midpoint uh, we have to take 15, 15. We need to first we need to make a frame uh, over here with the 30 mm side. To do that first we will find out the center with midpoint. For 2.5 boxes, we need to draw the line, and here we will get the midpoint. From the midpoint, 1.5 and 1.5 either side. Like this is a 0.5, and then 1, and same here. Point from midpoint, 0.5, and then 1. And then we need to make a frame for it. Like from here, 0.5 and uh, 1, 0.5, and then same way, 1 and 0.5. Like this, total we need to get the three mm box like this. When you count it from here, one, two, three, one, two, three. Like this is the uh, frame we got it. After that, you can delete the this the mid line. Now we need to go to line and we need to draw the lines from corner to opposite edge midpoint. Like this, we need to draw the two lines. and same way from the top corner also we need to draw it two lines to the bottom two edges midpoint after making this we will get the four center points by using those four center points we need to draw an arc to get the circular view take the top corner as the center and draw the arc for the bottom between the bottom midpoints and take the bottom uh, point as the center and draw the arc between top two and next take the intersection point at the center and draw the right side arc and same way the left side intersection point and draw the left side arc so like this we need to draw the arc for this and after finishing you can delete all these uh, lines uh, which are we taken and then uh, we need to give the axis side uh, to get the axis side first we need to draw the uh, the midpoint as usual draw the midpoint lines and then we will get the center and from the center height they given 40 so we can use the axis line from the midpoint we need to give the height 4 that is from here 1 2 3 4 5 like this we need to count the four boxes and then get the height and after getting that height from the apex we need to draw the tangent line to the bottom cone like this we need to draw the keep the scale at the periphery and draw the line and from the apex to same way either side we need to draw the two tangents once the tangent is finished and then we can delete all the lines and then we need to erase the the portion is coming inside this cone so we can erase all this portion coming inside the 
the cone we need to erase it uh, need to before taking the printouts okay so this is how the problem is completed